So communication, trust, and sex. Those are like my three things. <laughs> I think those are three good ones. We became friends first. We fell in love and got married. And now we're starting a family together. Hey guys, so I was going through the YouTube videos individually. I try to answer all of you guys. And a lot of the questions were wanted, y'all wanted to hear us talk about marriage boot camp. So that's yeah. what we're gonna talk about today. Yeah, we're gonna talk about what annoys us, but to be honest, we could do that any day. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we're doing what you guys asked for, which is talk a little bit about marriage boot camp, which honestly. No one really asks us about that. When they see us, they're like, oh my God, were you guys on Big Brother or Rarely Amazing Race? We never get marriage boot camp questions. So thanks for your questions. And I think Jordan's excited about this episode because she learned a lot and so did I on that show. Well, we did. And I want to say, first of all, when we started marriage boot camp, we just were like, we're doing it for a paycheck, to be honest. And um, <laughs> we didn't think much about it. I was like, oh, it's so scripted, this and that. But... We met the two hosts, Jim and Carol, which are so sweet. And they actually have like a marriage boot camp where they live. I forgot exactly I where. I think it was in Texas. I want to say Texas yeah. too, but we could be wrong. Um, and just, I feel like we have a good judge of character when we meet people. And when I met them, I really do feel like they were genuine and yeah. that they really wanted to help people. And one thing that Jim pointed out to us, well... Let me say this. When I started dating Jeff, I was 22, 23 when we were dating, mm -hmm. and we were young. I was very immature about things, about situations, and Jeff needed a little growing up to do as well, you know, <laughs> in a nice way. And the way I would handle certain situations was very immature, like just hang up on him on the phone, and that would make him even more mad. That's why I did it. And it was almost like a battle and I would never crack like with Jeff. And I was always never going to be the one to apologize. He had to apologize for me. And like I said, that is like immature, young 20 year old. I had apologize for you. No, you always apologized. I never cracked. I even have a picture. I'll show you guys. Remember we got in that huge fight and like I would not talk to you at all. And you what stayed happened? up late. This was like. 2013, I think it was. You and still have that text message? <laughs> I can have Louie put it in here. It's not a text message. Jeff put this thing on the board and put, I love you, because I was so mad. And I I was actually had moved back to Charlotte, and we were doing long distance, and we were fighting. And oh, it was on the chalkboard. Yeah, but I still have the picture. I saved it because you gave in, and I was like, hold, I stood my ground. All right. <laughs> We're drifting off. But is this why you wanted this running? No, I'm just saying I was just Forget going old to stories, that point. More stories where you won? No, I was just going to that point because the way I handled situations, it was very immature. Let's just say we both had a lot of growing up to do, and I'm I'm learning every day. But this was a major boost in yeah. our relationship, even though a lot of people still probably go on there and are like, whatever, you guys are just went on for the paycheck. You're exactly right, we did, and I'm sure a lot of people do that, but we actually learned something that we took with us the rest of our lives. So I don't know where you want to start. Okay, so what I, I'm just gonna go for one episode that I specifically remember on Marriage Boot Camp. Jeff and I were doing a rowing, um, like a paddle board thing where you had to communicate. It was about communication, that was, that was the exercise, it was communication. And that Jeff and I failed it because who was blindfolded? Me or you? Um, I, I don't can't know. even remember. No, I, I think I was directing and you were blindfolded. Right. I think. Either way, it was bad. Turn the boat around. Okay, I'm blindfolded. I don't know what Turn the is. boat straight. What is wrong with you? Turn it okay, to the right. Turn look it at me. Which way do I have to go? She's just in her own world no. saying, go forward. He doesn't, he's blindfolded. Turn your arm the other, go, yes, right there. Dude. Right, I'm so aggravated. Man, I wanna, I'm I wanna so pissed off. Me. Now Jeff has lost his temper. Holy <laughs> this challenge. Oh my God, I'm done with this stupid thing. She has had it. Hello? Well, what you saw, that was not edited out it was really like that like jeff got so mad i think you smacked yeah. the power board we did not speak and jim came in there and this I was, was so on the episode i was so embarrassed. he goes 
if you guys cannot communicate, there is no relationship. And that was like a genuine comment. And I'm glad that actually happened though, because what we learned at the end was they needed to break us down before they could build us up. Right. And that was our, that was our bottom. That was our bottom. I'm like, listen, all we have to do for this whole thing before we left to go do it was, listen, if we have a problem, it's two weeks, we're gonna film this thing. If we got a problem, swallow it and we'll deal with it when we get off. And instead we did the complete opposite. I broke down, I cried right away. Jeff cried more than I had ever seen you cry. <laughs> They really broke me down. I don't know if I was in a cult or something. They, they broke me way down. I was crying all the time. Then that episode really, I was like, you know what? We really need to work on this. Right. Oh yeah, and so. Oh my God, I remember that. That was so bad. It was so bad. And I would wake up in the mornings with like a headache. I'm like, I just don't want to cry today. <laughs> Cause they would, because they would make you, another exercise that I remember, we had to write down, um, I think like what bothers about the other person or something. And then we had to say it to other person and just hearing him say those things to me made me like cry. I like, feel like it, I'm going to cry right now. Yeah, I was, I, You know what? I'm bringing back so many memories. I'm kind of glad we're doing this now because Aubrey O'Day, I don't know if you guys know her. She's from Daddy Kane. What's her Danity. name? Danity. Danity Kane with Puffy. Anyway, she was on her thing and she like really got in there and she broke me down one day. Remember that? <laughs> What are you doing? I don't understand why you can't give me clear direction. Okay, okay. This is so frustrating. Okay, fear left. I'm telling you, I just went left and it wasn't the right choice. I can't see anything. Okay, straight. Why can't you just ever have your own opinion and tell me where to go and what to do? If I weren't here, we would be sinking right now. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do this exercise. And she's like, Jeff, no, you're not telling me the truth. And I was like, <laughs> You're right, Aubrey. I don't know. I just started crying. And then they used I that. I love her. They used that as like the intro to the show. Oh, we watched yeah. that. I don't know. So, so many memories. And Mike, the situation in Lauren Sorrentino, or Mike, they're the Sorrentinos now. But they were on the show with us, which we still keep in contact with. It'd be funny if we could get them on like a Skype call and do like, what do you remember about marriage boot camp? Oh man, that would be funny. Mike was just a jokester, he's funny. Dude, Mike was the best on that yeah, show. He was right. so, we. I got to know Mike, you know, we were there for two weeks and we talked almost every night and he was really honest about his time on the Jersey Shore. I don't mean to go out about him, but I'm so proud of that guy. Yeah, and, uh, I'm definitely. glad, our cast was great. Today is Reggie's birthday. It is? Yeah, oh. Reggie and Tammy are on the show with us. So Reggie's birthday today, we're filming this on the 19th. So Reggie, happy birthday, buddy. Yeah, we were lucky to got on, we got on with a really good cast. Well, Travis was with Aubrey. Yeah. Travis, we still keep in touch with. And then, um, Kendra. Kendra okay. was like the star. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I, I if Kendra, words. if Kendra <laughs> saw both of us walking down the street, she would not yeah. even know who yeah, we were. No and we were there for two weeks. So we didn't talk to, Kendra did her own kind of thing during the show. Kendra and Hank had a big, don't even get in on that. <laughs> they had a thing go down. But anyways, we didn't talk to them. So we're just giving you like behind the scenes of what yeah. kind of went down on that show and what friendships were legit and what weren't. I think people want to hear that stuff. <laughs> so we did, we learned a lot. It really, I'm, I'm being 100% honest. It really helped our, we were engaged at the time. It really helped us because Jeff and I, you know, we've been through some spot. I mean, we've been together 11 years where we've, could have broken up. We've been through some, our friends, Louie has seen the worst of things and uh, they know everything. And so every, it's every kind of, um, and you know, we've had our ups and downs, but we've always just worked them out, you know? And, but I think to go back to that episode, cause I, I kind of went down. Um, rabbit hole. Yeah, definitely. That, that's my favorite thing to do. That was a pivotal moment in our relationship. If someone like look look back, what was a crucial point of your relationship? Yeah. It was that exact moment on marriage boot camp because I was so embarrassed I broke down. I was so embarrassed on how we communicated. And we didn't know we had this big communication problem and they're actual legit experts at right. this. And everyone sees Jeff and Jordan as, oh my God, you guys were the perfect couple on, married, or on uh, big, big Brother. Brother. So it's like, oh, we're just gonna skate through this. And we're just like every other couple out there. We have our ups and downs and that was a big down for us. Everything with you guys has been rainbows and unicorns and I don't think that that's real enough to make life work. Yeah, and after 
after the show ended, we both told each other, I was like, okay, I remember us talking about it at our apartment. We were like, this is what we're gonna change. And this was an exercise. This might help you use your at tools. home. Yeah, this was <laughs> user tools. It was, I understand what you're saying, but this is how I feel, and this is how I am understanding you saying it. Because what a thing with Jeff and I was, I would say something, and Jeff would interpret, interpret, is that right? <laughs> interpret it a completely different way. Same things with us. I'm like, you're not understanding what I'm saying. And so we use that tool. We haven't used it in a while. We haven't, but, but we used to. And it would kind of break the ice. It would. Because I would be like, I, I don't get it. And then Jeff would say, I hear you. Jordan, I understand what you're saying, but this is how I'm taking it. I'm like, okay, well, I'm taking it this way. And then it would almost resolve like any issues, like a big fight yeah. that we would have. And um, it really did because just with everything else, I mean, you just, with the relationship, what I've learned is communication is key. Number one. Trust, you know, with that. And that was number another one. thing. You're all number one. I think you go through... You know, Jeff has parents that have been together 50 years. I have parents that were married 27 years and got divorced. And my parents hate each other. Like, it was like a terrible divorce. And I'm not going to go into all that because that's their business. But that, I would automatically assume Jeff and I were going to fail and get defensive because I had That was to big. That, that was, was huge, one. and that was another problem because I assumed because my parents failed that our that we were never going to make it as well. So I had a lot of issues with just what happened with my parents and what they went through, and it also led to me having trust issues. He never did anything. I'm not saying he didn't do anything. I'm just saying. I just, whatever went on with my parents, I assumed we would he go, was going to do to me. We so were, I was trying to protect myself from getting hurt from him because I assumed the worst from Jeff. Remember me and my buddy, like Louie, who does the, Louie's going to laugh at this story because we did it every single weekend. Me and Louie and our other friend Brendan would go across the street, literally across the street to this sushi place. And then from there, right next door was another bar. So we'd go to sushi, to the bar, where she knew the owner and everybody in there knew we were married and together. It was within a three block radius. We'd do that every single weekend. And Jordan's like, well, you're out all over town with your friends. And she'd get really upset. Like I was out cheating with her. I'm like, I'm across the street, and you know every you know the owners of all these places we go that to. That was something huge we'd fight. And up. nobody was there, by the way. And then I would have like a couple of drinks or whatever, and then it came out. Louis, Brennan, all those guys has seen like my crazy. So now I'm crazy because I don't love you, right? Is that the point? No, wrong. Yeah, and then they'd call me, like, dude, are you okay? Like I'm like. <laughs> What is she thinking like we're doing? What is she thinking that we're doing? But we that, do the same thing. That took a lot of growing up. That took a lot of maturity. And that took a lot of me being like, this is my relationship. This isn't my parents' relationship. This isn't what happened. And I need to focus on it because I used to always throw around the divorce word with him. And I... Jeff, we had a fight about that. I'm like, you can't. That's the last time you use that word. And Jeff's like, if you throw that word around one more time, he was like, just wait. And he goes, well, we will be divorced. Yeah. Just like and Jordan thought she won the fight when we started this episode. <laughs> I won that fight. And then, um, yeah, like I mean, we're probably talking too much. Talking we're going. Too much we're, we got off a marriage boot camp, and now we're just <laughs> complaining about our past. But it kind of makes me laugh because we did. We we have grown so much as a couple, oh. not only from that show, which is honest. Again, I can't say enough about it. When people watch that show, they're like, "What?" Because I get what you must be thinking at if home. If you were somebody that just needed a booster, I'm not. Even if you weren't even having like huge marital problems, I would totally go to Jim Carroll's just to get. Are like, they still up little, and running? I see. I don't know. I don't know either. Maybe you'd have to get, look it up. Maybe cool we could get we them, them on. If we could get Jim and Carol on, that'd be awesome. Yeah. We're not testing our whole relationship to marriage boot camp by any means. But it was someone from the outside sitting us down and being brutally honest with us and telling us what our issues are. You could have your friends do that. You could have your parents do that. And like, well, that's Jordan's mom just telling me. Or that's right. Jeff's brother just saying it. So there are, there's always going to be a bias. It's almost, it was our therapy. And I think I would suggest the couples to go to therapy. And I, th I think if things yeah. got 
rough between us, even with the kids, or there was some kind of wedge in between, I would have no problem calling a therapist. I wouldn't either. And we, now, we don't really fight that much. Like, no, we I, bicker about things, but like, I feel like that took care of the problem. Like now we're like, we communicate. We communicate. And then I think another thing too, in a relationship, what did I say? Oh, that's where we went off. So communication, trust, and sex. Those are like my three things. <laughs> I think those are three good ones. <laughs> Jeff gets embarrassed. Every I don't get embarrassed. Every I just... time I say sex, you get embarrassed. I didn't get embarrassed. Yeah, but you I started get... thinking about sex. <laughs> stop fighting. We're not fighting. Lawson just goes, stop fighting. <laughs> <laughs> but those, I think that is like a bonding thing too. I think if you, I, I will say this one thing. I won't get too in detail. Like if, if one time. <laughs> I'm still thinking about sex. <laughs> <laughs> one time we went not a long well it was kind of long there's just a lot going on maybe like a month without having sex Whoa, it gets when was that? rocky no this oh. was a while ago your relationship kind of gets rocky you gotta get it in you do <laughs> yes, you do like you can because if you go too long i'm telling you once you it's weird once you if you go Get too done? long without having sex, it's almost awkward when you do have sex. Am I not right? Because like when we went too long without doing it, I think this was like maybe after Lawson or something. That was like when it was. You, it's almost weird. It almost feels like I you're totally having you're sex saying. again with, I don't know, it's weird, it's new. But if you make but then a then right point, after it, you're like, we should, we should do this more often. Yeah, but it's just, <laughs> it's a, but it's like a bonding time for, and women need it. Well, y'all too. Y'all men just do it all the time, but I'm just saying women need it emotionally. <laughs> do what all the time? <laughs> but we we try to make a point to get it in. Do it. I'm not going to talk about how much we do it, but I'm just saying it's so far what we're doing is working. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we're giggling now. I don't know why we're giggling. We're, I'm 40 years old. I can talk about it. Hi, mom and dad. <laughs> no, but it's, it is. Like well, you said, trust, communication, and sex. I think those are the top three. I can't think of another one that breaks those top three. Right. And understanding. Like, Jeff understands my time. I understand Jeff's time. I know when Jeff needs a break. And... It, yeah, you know, I think our balance. biggest communication, and I know we're running a little long yeah. here, but the biggest one I think we still have a problem with is me trying to. What do you, I'm glad we we can talk about this on camera. Me trying to explain something to you. If I try to make Jordan better from my experiences, look, I'm already looking at that face. She doesn't like it. There's so I still am trying to figure out a way where I could teach Jordan from my experiences without me being a dad. I did, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you sound like my dad. Just stop. Like, before we started, I'm like, listen, we need to be focused on what direction we're going. She's like, sorry, Mr. Host. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm just giving you my experience and how we can improve this YouTube. <laughs> so we still are working on that. How about something that... Uh, we're not fighting, buddy. So. See? We're not fighting. So, we're communicating. We're Is there something that... Like, that's why I still can't get across to you. Is there something you can't get across to me before we go? No. I think I get everything across to you. Because if something bothers me, he definitely hears it. Yeah, or I see that face. That face, I, when I started, she doesn't even have to say anymore. I already know. And then Sybil comes out. That's like her, that's what her dad That's what my dad calls me when I get crazy. Um, okay. Well, I hope you like this episode. This I feel good. good. I'm for sweating us. a little. I, I know I better. am too. I feel gross. Melasma's out. I am going to do um, a segment about that because summertime's coming. A lot of people, I'm getting a lot of questions about that. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for all the support. Um, lots of positive feedback about the YouTube. Please keep the comments coming. I will get on YouTube tonight and answer your comments. And I hope you like this episode. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Maybe. What, am I calling people out? I was Bye. reminiscing. I went down memory lane. Yeah. No, we didn't say anything. Let's go back to our exercise. Oh, yeah, sorry. Anyways. Um... Let's, um... Were you rolling your eyes while I was talking? No. Like, you were waiting for me to finish and I was just babbling on? <laughs> <laughs> no. Wow, a little roll reversal, huh? I don't know.
know why he feels like he always has to carry the whole relationship. You know, I have a home in North Carolina. I'm in charge. It hasn't been burnt down yet, you know? That's huge. That's like, if we can't get this down, I mean, marriage isn't gonna work. Because it feels good sometimes to scream and say something. I should start firing them out. <laughs> Not at me.